I've been told that you were the one who attracted Manifesta in your city. Could you explain? Four years ago, I just uh, asked to Manifesta to organize uh, this year Manifesta 12. And I said to Manifesta that uh, Palermo was the right place where I organize a migrant exhibition of art. Because Palermo is a migrant city welcoming the migrants. And the Palermo can attract artists from all over the world in name of the international mobility. And the, the logo of Manifesta in Palermo is Planetary Gardens, starting from a painting of Francesco Loiacono in 1875, mm -hmm. a wonderful painting just describing the landscape of Palermo, where the trees, all the trees, are not autochthon. But uh, what I why is it important to have this kind of manifestation in your city? It is important for Manifesta because finally Manifesta can use our international attraction and we can use Manifesta and the uh, international attraction of Manifesta all over the world, especially in the field of art. But uh, so are you happy about the result? Yes, I think that uh, uh, Manifesta is uh, just playing an important role all over the world. We have a thousand, thousand, thousand people coming in Palermo just to see how it's possible to combine art and daily life, how it's possible to combine uh, ist artistic installations with the square, the, the, the place, the, the palace, the private palace, the public institutions. I mean, 30 schools, 30 schools in Palermo were involved since two years just to prepare Manifesta in 2018. So it means you made work a lot of people and all that. You are happy about that? No, we just uh, gave a, a great contribution just to put in security the change, the cultural change of Palermo. So what's the cultural change of Palermo? There is no city in Europe who changed the culture so deeply like Palermo in the last 40 years. We are the capital of the Mafia. This chair was the chair of Mafia Boss, now this chair is the chair of the mayor of Palermo, Austin Manifesta, and Palermo is the Italian capital of the culture. I think, uh, Pamal. Pamal. <laughs> and you, you, did you visit some of the sites, some of the aesthetic proposals? All, of course. All of them? All of them, because... Uh, and you like them? I, I like them, but I like the message they send. They send the message that uh, to welcome people who are different uh, is not special, but it's a daily life. But you know, I'm writing about art and my feeling is that the site, the places, most of the time are stronger than the aesthetic proposals there. Even the, the message is a bit weak compared to the places. What do you think? Do you imagine what does it mean when the young boys in Zen, just uh, a part of the city in the far periphery, are just preparing a garden, following the suggestions of Flamand. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what does it mean? Yes. A, 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 great, a great expert just being the leader of young uh, boys coming from poor families and taking care of a garden. Mm -hmm. Imagine what does it mean, for instance, to see in Palazzo Butera, the wonderful Palazzo Butera, Massimo and Francesca Valsecchi, just to prepare, to open, just starting this year, probably the largest and more important private museum of art in Italy. It means that something will remain in, even after Manifesta. Manifesta will leave, we'll go to Marseille, yes. but Palermo will change thanking Manifesta. Merci, monsieur. Merci à vous.